Parakpur Football Club and Kerala Police, a new rivalry in the Rampo Kerala Premier League and they meet today for the first time in the season and it's the fifth game of Group A where Kerala Police missed out on a top two finish last campaign based on goal difference and they will look to arrest that run this season and look to start afresh against the newbies Parakpur Football Club. Uh, welcome to the EMS Corporation Stadium in Kohikor. I am Sohan Poddar in the commentary box and it is match number 10 in the Ramco Kerala Premier League. And this is the side put up by Sanjoy Day, the head coach. It's 4-1-4-1. And all the youngsters making debut for the club in the State League. The number 41, Diljit P. And the number 10, Mishal, to keep an eye on. Which can add up to the pool of players that Kerala have been producing in recent years. And yesterday we saw a few youngsters uh, scoring goals. Uh, will there be something different uh, this evening? Uh, quickly, we'll move on to the bench. Uh, Parapur Football Club, Amal K and Akmal Sakir seems like are the defensive options for Parapur and exciting attackers in the likes of Ahebi C and Nanda Kishore and Joy J uh, can be called upon if required. And now over to the away team, Kerala Police, the uh, head coach, the legendary I am Vijayan, uh, very optimistic about his team's chances in the match as he names an exciting lineup to stand a chance in the game forward Bijesh Balan. To be aided by the likes of Sajish and Babel Sivari. And Arjun will look to keep the balance in midfield intact with the number one, Mohammad Azar, between the sticks. And mix of youth and experienced players on the bench for Kerala Police. And Nishad Gokul, Jamshid, and the number 19, Firoz, the number 30, and Shihabuddin. It's a typical 4 3 3. And I am Vijayan will look for an aggressive start and goals right from the off. And after a fourth place finish last season, Kerala Police will look to start the new season with renewed vigor and zeal under their new management. The other match officials, the referee for today's game is Musa of Violi, and he will be supported by Liju VM and Abdul Manaf A. And the fourth official is Mr. Prasant. Uh, two teams uh, that stand for energy, tactical innovation, and youth development. An absolutely brilliant pitch. Both the teams going to dish out some quality football. Uh, good passing, good support. Uh, both the coaches have really expressed uh, that the opponents are strong and they have to challenge this. It's going to be important how they manage to break the defense and how they try to penetrate. But I'm sure we are going to have a wonderful day out here at the EMS Stadium in Calicut. A uh, chance for Parapur Football Club to start on a winning note. And they will be playing the first ever game in the Ramco Kerala Premier League and they will be hoping to get off the mark with a win in the first match itself. The team in green is Parapur Football Club and Kerala Police is the side in red. It is a case of young players of course and not just for Parapur Football Club but also for Kerala Police as well. And the coach sticks to the principle of defending deep and hitting teams on the break. They've got a different spot in terms of a kit, but hopefully the same verbal of supporting this football team as the team gets ready for this. And the match officials with the two captains. Uh, Srirag Viji, the number five. The left fullback is the skipper of Kerala Police. Uh, both the number fives, in fact, are the skippers of the respective teams. And the skipper of the Padapur Football Club is Anandu, the defensive midfielder. Uh, he will be sitting uh, right in front of the back four. Uh, that is his positioning according to the uh, lineup uh, which is being produced in front of us. Uh, Anandu sitting in front of the four in defense. Uh, Joseph Justin on the right. Gokul is going to be the left full back. And Jagannath Jain and Stephen the Ghanian is going to marshal the defense. Uh, Jagannath Jain at the heart of defense along with the Ghanian and Abhiram is going to play on the right hand side of midfield and Diljit P on the left hand side and Mishal the number 10 is going to be the playmaker with Jishnu uh, just playing behind him and the lone man up front is going to be Frankfurt the number 15 the Ghanian striker uh, that is how Parapur FC they have shaped up uh, for this particular encounter their first ever game in the Kerala Premier League. Uh, Thiruvananthapuram side, Kerala Police in a 4-3-3. Uh, 
with Mohammad Azhar in goal, as Safwan, Vivin Thomas, Sanju, and Sridag. And going to be the defensive options with three in midfield Sunil, Enes, Arjun, and Anis. And the front three of Sajis on the right hand side, Binish Balan, is going to be in the center, and Babel Sivri on the left hand side of those two. The newbie is Eagle FC up against the old foes, Parappur. There is always something special about newcomers in the league, and they are the latest entrants. And they will look to play experimental brand of football. Uh, results sometimes can be elusive, but there is growth to show with some simple yet effective tweaks paying dividends. And Parapur taking on Kerala, Kerala Police today. Uh, there are several aspects that will arouse interest in the match. And the league now in its colder climbs, making life out of it in the middle. A far a move together for the players. When the going gets tough, the tough are expected to get going. Uh, which of the teams will prove this right uh, will be known in the coming days. Uh, Kerala Police, of course, have got a glorious past. Uh, winners of the Federation Cup twice. And the only Indian team to lift the Federation Cup for two successive seasons in 1990 and 1991. As we uh, get underway here with match number 10 in the Rampo Kerala Premier League. Uh, this is a Group A clash, another game going on in the Maharaja's College ground at Ennakulam. And uh, here is Stephen, a forward ball early on. An early attempt on goal as well. Uh, hands on his head. Uh, that was Jishnu. And feisty, a fiery start uh, from the team in green, Parapur FC. Making their intent very clear right from the off. Uh, that was a good ball, straight forward. Uh, by Stephen, uh, Dishnu's uh, shot was on target uh, but not powerful enough to beat the goalkeeper. It was more of a stereotype attempt and we saw a side from Thiruvananthapuram in Kerala Police FC. They failed to qualify for the semis in Group A uh, last season. And can the newcomers make their mark and leave a positive impression? Uh, stands in their way a very experienced Kerala Police side. And this fixture is highly entertaining and promises a lot of goal as you can already uh, figure it out uh, with the kind of starts uh, they've made already uh, moving uh, forward aggressively uh, Kerala police uh, pressing uh, from the front and it promises a lot of goal this one and the first kick off in Kohikor for the day and it is perfect game uh, to set the tone for the season. Uh, it's a throw in for Parapur Football Club. Uh, Parapur Football Club is a unit associated with Parapur Sports and Education Trust. We will come back to that. An early shot is blocked. He is Sunil. And he plays it back to the defender Vivin Thomas. Uh, Vivin Thomas carries it into the Parapur area. Uh, keeping the ball very comfortably, but Sujil, uh, he has hustled off the ball. Uh, will he illegally, according to the referee, Musa, and free kick uh, for Kerala Police. As I was talking about Parapur Sports and Education Trust with a revolutionary new vision uh, to scout for budding soccer talents from eight, 6 to 18 years of age from villages who cannot afford. Uh, coaching the fees and Parapur FC takes care of their education, nutrition and while training them scientifically under dynamic national coaches uh, raising uh, new stars for the glory of the country and for the sport as well another attack, this got a man inside in Suji on the left back, Gokul oh, that was very close uh, promising signs already from Kerala Police. And they are a force to be reckoned with. And Sajish getting into scoring areas. And he's the man in the middle uh, with Babel Sivari uh, to his left. And on his right is Bijesh Balan. Uh, those front three. And I and Bijay uh, will be relying on them for goals. Uh, 
two wingers and one centre forward. And the only central midfielder, Arjun. He is supported by two wide midfielders, Sujil and Anish. Yeah, Sujil, of course, is trying to make an early impression in the game. It's just four minutes on the clock. And I am Bijay. He is the head coach. He rose to prominence uh, while playing for uh, Kerala Police. The former Indian international and arguably one of India's best footballer in the last 30 years. And after the legendary Krishan Uday, he scored 32 goals uh, for India in 70 outings. Uh, speaks the volumes uh, of his uh, potential. He also donned the jerseys of uh, Kolkata Giants, East Bengal and Mohan Bagan. Uh, also successful for Churchill Brothers, uh, the Goan side, the Goan Giants. Also played for FC Cochin and JCT. Uh, that was in, in the National Football League's inaugural edition. He played for JCT and partnered alongside the second sniper Baichung Bhutia. Uh, Joe Paul and Cherry uh, was also a part of that uh, roster. Uh, lifting the title in the inaugural edition of National Football League. It was a, a star starter side. And not only I am Vijayan, but also Carlton Chapman. As they try to build up from the back, Kerala Police. A slightly a low tempo after that initial. Uh, outburst of speed in the early stages. And maybe both the sides quickly realizing that uh, going can uh, get tough if too much energy is wasted uh, right from the off. They got to reserve it. Now, been Thomas and nodding it back to Azhar. Slow, patient build-up from Kerala Police. A good ball into the feet of Bijesh. A ball sent in early. And that's Sajish. And he's got a Stephen onto him. And Stephen showing his strength uh, to win the ball back. And protect uh, his side. Uh, Parapur FC. Uh, that was a brilliant ball piercing uh, through the Parapur FC defence. Uh, Sajish uh, first does just letting him down. Uh, Stephen... Yeah, keeping a very close eye on the number 33. Uh, both the defenders, uh, Stephen and Jagannath Jain, are uh, pretty close to each other, trying to see the gap between them. An early foul. Uh, that is uh, jersey number 17, a uh, sub one. Uh, the right full back uh, for Kerala Police. And today, Parapur Football Club is a two-star rated academy uh, by the All India Football Federation under the Academy Accreditation Program and participates in uh, the All India Football Federation's Youth League, that is the under 13, under 15, and under 18 categories. And Kerala Police, on the flip side, is an Indian institutional football club based in Tiruvannathapuram. And that competes in the Kerala Premier League. The winners of the Federation Cup, as I have mentioned twice, 1990 1991. The state uh, club football championship winners six times, uh, runners up five. And also the winners of Mohan Kumar Mangalam football tournament uh, four years back in 2017. Kerala Police football team is governed by Kerala Police and they have also participated in the inaugural edition of National Football League. In 1998, they took part in the first edition of NFL in second division and over the years they have played several times in the Federation Cup and Dual Cup earlier. And the best ever performance in the Kerala Premier League was way back in 2014 where they reached the finals. A loss to State Bank of Travancore. Okay. 
uh, the only time in the recent history uh, they managed to enter the knockout stage. It was a couple of seasons back in 2019. Uh, they made a, a top four finish. Uh, Kerala Blasters eventually uh, winning the title this season. Uh, last season. Uh, they failed to uh, write their name into the hat for the top two. Uh, finishing a fifth, uh, collecting six points. Unfortunately, uh, had to give up on goal difference. Uh, they started their campaign in the early stages. It was a bit of a struggle uh, for I am Vijay inside. A couple of draws on 13th March. They played that nil nil draw against Basco, uh, followed by a nil nil draw against the Sports Academy Tirur. Uh, the first win, of course. Uh, came on 28th March last year, last year against Lucas Soccer Club. It was a narrow 1 0 win, uh, followed by a 4 0 loss against Gokulam Kerala on 3rd April. And the last group came on 13th April. Uh, they played a 2 all draw, and that was a highly entertaining game against FC Kerala. Uh, they will look to revive their campaign this time around, but now. The team in green, Parapur FC, is attacking. In 1984, the Kerala Director General of Police DGP thought it would be a good idea to form a football team for the police department. And he not only realized the potential of the talent pool available in the state, but also wanted to try and bring in a positive image in the minds of people of the state when they think of that department and that was the reason behind setting up uh, this team and Parapur football club uh, winning a free kick for themselves it's Frank Foot, uh, 23 years of age uh, the man from Ghana the ball floated into the box as Stephen went up for it he was looking for his tall figure inside the final third I couldn't make the most now the other game at Irnakulam uh, Kerala United uh, leading uh, by a goal uh, courtesy Arjun Jairad's brilliant free kick Oh, that's a one-on-one -on -one chance. Keeper comes out and he missed the target. Uh, Sajish and the first clear opportunity of the game uh, falling for Kerala Police. A second time he's gone forward like that. And the previous one, uh, he was switched off by Stephen. Uh, but pulling clear on this occasion, uh, couldn't hit the target. Yeah, the ball just whiskers away from nestling into the bottom corner. And Kerala police are trying to breach uh, the defence and exploit the gap uh, behind the defence line of uh, Padapur Football Club. Uh, that which is why you will see uh, those through passes uh, being played more frequently uh, from the heart of midfield. Uh, they are trying to attack uh, down the centre. Uh, which is why they've got players like Sunil and Arjun. Uh, the more emphasis on attacking from the middle. Uh, they are trying to use the wings on the flip side. Put up put. Uh, that ball was snatched by Anish. Uh, that was an easy interception. Uh, playing the role of a defensive midfielder. Uh, that is exactly what is going to be his duty this evening. Is spoiling every move which uh, Padapur FC uh, will be planning to develop from the centre and now pokes it forward two waiting in the box uh, the cross is blocked and corner for Kerala Police and uh, number 33 uh, Sajish and Vijesh Balan uh, quickly uh, going into a scoring region uh, but Safwan on the overlap uh, couldn't get his cross in it was a low cross a good block there by Gokul, uh, just 19 years of age, a very young side, most of the players 
uh, below 23. And uh, see, that was the header towering in air. The goalkeeper somehow managed to deal with it. Uh, Fabian Thomas header. Uh, look at that. They connected well. Went for placement. Uh, working the goalkeeper, Mohamed Josim. Had to stretch. He knew probably it was going out, but still had to make sure uh, with his fingertips. Corner taken shot. A ball punted towards the back post. And almost a free chance uh, for Vivian Thomas who ghosted into that free space. And on the half volley, blazing it over. And one more chance. It goes begging for Kerala Police. And within the first quarter of the game, they created three scoring opportunities. Uh, showing a lot of variation in their approach play at uh, the side from Thiruvananthapura. Parappur. Uh, Frankfurt yet to make his mark. Uh, his first commitment is committing a foul uh, deep inside the opposition area. Uh, Ruben Thomas uh, was pulled from behind. Uh, by the Ghanian, uh, putting his weight uh, above the young centre back. Uh, that was a searching ball uh, headed away by Stephen. Uh, Kerala Police playing with an all Indian lineup. Uh, given the kind of potential uh, emerging uh, from Kerala in terms of players, uh, absolutely superb. like Alkis International and Kerala Police oh it's a big confusion and a big opening for Kerala Police another chance wasted what a glorious opportunity that was to get one nil for themselves and a big big let off uh, for Parapur Football Club and the team in red uh, could have been up by uh, three goals uh, by now. Uh, lack of communication between the goalkeeper and the defender uh, resulting into the chance. Here is Sajish who brings the ball down, goes past the first challenge. He's got two waiting in the box, the third one arriving as well. Uh, pulls it behind and steaming into the ball was the number 14 Anish. But it's been cleared by the defender. Uh, before he could get uh, to it and the man marking was on point on this occasion uh, from Jagannath Jain uh, 16 years old uh, from the junior national camp as I was mentioning uh, Frank Wood is the only player who is 23 in this Parapur FC roster and all below 20 only the two foreigners above 20. As I was speaking about with an all Indian lineup. On a very practical note, uh, how much of that is possible to survive in the top two, uh, given the fact uh, the other teams uh, they have really uh, two to three very good foreigners. But Altids International setting up example that. One can compete with an all Indian lineup. Uh, they have registered their first victory uh, last evening. Uh, breaking barriers. A free kick by Vibin Thomas. Uh, too much uh, power behind the shot, but could not have directed goalwards. And goal kick for Parapur Football Club. Kerala United still leading uh, by the solitary goal, uh, riding on Arjun Jairaj's billions free kick. And Arjun Jairaj uh, played for Gokulam Kerala in the Hero I League. Uh, has been a bit injury prone, uh, which is why you see uh, the downward slope in his uh, football career. 
Hey, that's a great run. Good overlap. Strokes it past his man. Puts it into the middle. And just goes behind uh, Sajish. They are getting closer. Time and again, Kerala Police. In complete dominance by the team in red. And they are moving ahead in tandem. Making options available between the defenders in that final third. They are trying to stretch the Parapur FC this time from the wings. A very intelligent attacker in the likes of Vinny Bijesh Balan and Sajish. And they're not static, very fluid, interchanging uh, time and again, uh, deceiving uh, the defenders of Parapur Football Club. Intelligent player movement, short passes. I am Vijayan uh, playing to his uh, team's strength. Uh, the godfather of Indian football. Uh, using his hand on this occasion. Uh, Mark Wood. Uh, referee asking him to get up. Uh, that's a heavy touch from Anish. And quickly latching onto it. And now uh, coming away through Abhiram. It's Parapur. Uh, Mark Wood is offside. Uh, 19 years old Abhiram. And Jishnu, uh, the attacking midfielder, a uh, sub junior international, uh, 17 years old. I uh, haven't seen much of Diljit yet. Uh, the man who plays as a left winger, a uh, left sided midfielder, uh, number 41. Uh, seeing a lot more of the ball, uh, Kerala Police. But a poor football club have picked back for the time being. And they are not too willing to, to go all out and risk things at the back. And down the right, the combination of Safwan and Sujil uh, causing havoc inside their defense. As the part of its corporate so social responsibility protocol, the South Indian Bank has joined hands with Parapur Sports and Education Trust and helped uh, start a long term a training program for the kids uh, categorized under 18 years of age. And the program is mainly aimed at locating soccer talents from grassroots and nurture them uh, to become professional football players. Uh, for international standards, a uh, first time crosses in the offering is deflected out and corner kick for Kerala Police. Another decent run uh, by Safwan, who stayed up uh, time and again. Uh, slightest of the deflections uh, takes the ball out and brings a uh, corner of uh, Kerala Police. And now they are getting numbers inside the box. Uh, can they make something of this uh, corner? It's a lower delivery, but well planned, planned to a Sajish. A shoulder barge from Stephen. And very easily uh, moving Sajish off the ball with a shoulder barge. And clearing the lines very quickly. Uh, Stephen was uh, too strong on the young striker. Uh, he will be needing treatment. The referee was close to the incident. It was a fair charge uh, by Stephen. He was trying to have a word uh, with Gokul. Uh, time and again, uh, Gokul caught out of position and had taken on a couple of times by someone. Uh, that is why uh, sharing his experience with the youngster is Stephen. He is asking him to be more alert and not commit himself early. Uh, wait till the light, right last moment uh, to figure out what the attacker is trying to do and then react accordingly. Uh, that is what uh, Stephen is trying to say. Uh, few instructions uh, for the youngster. 
uh, from the senior man. You know, winning the ball very illegally, Anish. Yeah, free kick goes against Kerala Police uh, this time. Parapur Football Club, the started a residential football academy with 15 slots for each age category as the part of this long-term training program jointly with a CSR initiative of South Indian Bank and Alpha Kirol India Private Limited manages of coaching a duty fee at Coaching International Airport offered their assistance in the development of club infrastructure and here they come but from the middle, Mark Wood, a poor first touch, recovers well and goes for goal uh, from a very difficult angle. An easy collection uh, for Mohammad Azar. He positioned himself brilliantly. At the moment he took the touch and ran away from goal. The angle wasn't familiar, familiar uh, for, her, for him. Scooped over the top, chipped into space, but helps Stephen only. And Stephen with a comfortable clearance. And Mark Wood gets a touch and brings the ball under control, lays it back. And that's the direct running uh, from Parapur. The flag has stayed down. This could be a chance, gets the full frame of the goal, beats the goalkeeper. Uh, but the attempt, a wrong decision making uh, by Diljit, uh, who has shifted wings and went to the right look at that selling one dummy uh, to Sri Rag. it gets the full frame of the goal but couldn't uh, steer it on target uh, Mark Woodall was also free and asking for the ball and the Ghanaian is finally ag agitated uh, seeing that chance being wasted uh, so both the teams are uh, creating chances uh, the ball has been robbed uh, by the number 13 and an excellent challenge uh, Sujesh getting in behind and the goalkeeper uh, saw the ball uh, well covered uh, in the end uh, by Jagannath Jain he's causing some problems the number 33 uh, Sujil uh, leaves it uh, for Bijesh and the give and go not working out as I was talking about the infrastructural development of Parapur with the cross ground floodlight and artificial ground academy hostels and so forth uh, they have also given uh, 6.2 acres of land for the development of the club and its infrastructure facilities uh, to transform Parampur FC into a club and coaching center of international standard and to promote football with excellence and dedication across India uh, wherever it is a passion as a sport that promotes mental, physical and social well-being and a sense of competence in everyone a work in progress for Parampur Mark Wood peeling away from his marker switching wings brilliantly and a man making a run inside the box goes on his own and this time it was Abhiram and quickly shifting onto his strong right side and it was a team attempt an off target as well and now they are pushing up Padapur FC and showing some um, attacking intent they're showing that they have not just come here to count numbers and they are gaining ascendancy and you can see Kerala police they have slowed down the pace of the game a tad bit a very cheap giveaway in a very important area 
uh, but that the ball over the top from Frankfurt uh, was wasteful. Uh, Vivian Thomas, Sanju, uh, touching it uh, near the halfway line uh, was Sujil. Very patient, in trying to probe Kerala police. They're not in a hurry, and Parapur FC is also they're not much bothered uh, given the fact Kerala police uh, keeps possession inside their own area. And the young left back Sridag, he loves uh, joining. Uh, the attack and let's see how much of that is possible especially uh, given the fact he's got a player in Diljit to deal with he's flying down the right to Parapur FC he created a wonderful chance for himself inside the six yard box uh, but couldn't apply the finishing touches That's a good move. Uh, down the right again. Someone in the overlap. Someone taking it onto his left foot and sending in an angle ball. Uh, couldn't get a touch. Uh, Sajish. Uh, the ball was uh, punted slightly ahead of him into the goalkeeper's zone. And Mohammad Jassim uh, grabs hold of the ball. A uh, slight uh, sluggishness at uh, the back line of. Uh, Parapur FC in terms of going forward uh, Kerala police looking the most threatening side and most of the build ups are predominantly uh, from the right hand side uh, using the number 17 uh, Safwan and there he is uh, playing it quickly to Sujil and now drifting into the channel is Babel Sivari Ball was close to the goalkeeper. And keeping possession at the back, and then that sudden long ball forward. Parapur FC just delaying here too much in choosing those options in midfield. And referee blows the whistle uh, for the drinks break. Uh, so over half an hour gone uh, here at the EMS Municipal Corporation Stadium. It's nil-nil between Parapur Football Club and Kerala Police. Uh, chances for both the sides in this half an hour. Uh, three at least uh, for the team in red, Kerala Police. And Diljit uh, for Parapur FC. Uh, missing out on a golden opportunity. A chance for the players to get hydrated. Uh, Sanjoy there, the head coach, NFCA license holder, uh, also winner of the Hero Elite League with Minerva Punjab. In 2018, uh, the tournament was uh, held in Goa that season, and he was also the youth development head of Minerva Punjab previously. Uh, the man who comes from Bengal. Also the head coach of a new Barakpur Rainbow Athletic Club in the Calcutta Premier League a couple of seasons back. A good tactical battle uh, going on between him and I am Vijayan. And I am Vijayan, what a player uh, during his days. And now new role as a head coach. And he will look to add that aura uh, around the team. And multiple uh, success with multiple clubs. Uh, the man who was referred as the uh, Kalo Horin in Kolkata Maidan. Uh, he was fondly known as Kalo Horin. Now the number 15. Trying to make inroads is Kaila Police. It takes a tumble, uh, Sujil. 
referee says play on. And once again, the both of them combining. And from the left hand side, Bijish Balan and Sujit, who has been given that free role in midfield uh, to create overload in every phase of play. He's got excellent vision. And this time cutting in uh, to his left, onto his right. Uh, thought about taking a shy. Uh, but shown a bit too much of the ball. Stephen uh, going long. Not finding its target. And this time Jairam uh, deciding to do the same. Uh, looking to play direct uh, football. And it's been won back by Kerala Police. Uh, cutting in. Uh, to the left on to his right uh, was number 33 uh, Sajish and quickly putting him off outnumbered and now that's the strength uh, that's the technique uh, applied by Arjun and the first time cross uh, the header is not on target I couldn't direct it goalwards uh, Sajish but uh, did exceedingly well uh, to connect the ball he's got all the qualities uh, that a good striker uh, must possess he's shown the intent he's getting into those areas and keeping both the center backs under pressure as you can see, uh, just getting in between uh, Stephen and Jagannath Jain, uh, not allowing the centre backs to have a, a very free game, and uh, not allowing them to spray those passes from behind. Uh, that's the plan uh, deployed by I am Vijayan. There's gonna be a substitution. Substitution for Kerala Police. Uh, just number 19 uh, comes in uh, Firoz uh, replaced Babel Sivari Stephen with a long kick getting on the ball uh, free awarding a free kick to Kerala Police Frank Wood, he was backing into Sanju. Here is Vivin. Vivin uh, launching it forward uh, straight into the chest of the number 15, Bijesh. Uh, trying to stabilize uh, the midfield, uh, Parapur FC. Uh, not been able to do that. On the flip side, Kerala Police uh, quite successfully uh, closing down the passing lanes and uh, looking for that crisp move forward and uh, made an interesting run on the overlap for sub one. And the left full back Gokul saw the plan and uh, quickly foils it. Uh, Kerala Police they got to change their tact, they got to change their approach. Uh, nicely done there uh, by Stephen. Uh, flicks it uh, over the attacker. Uh, he was brought down. Uh, last evening we saw uh, that big mistake committed by Obin. Uh, late into the second half. And uh, had to pay the price. Anup, uh, the youngest ever goal scorer. In the Kerala Premier League, just 16 years of age, uh, scoring the winner for LTS International, and now he wins it. Uh, referee thinks uh, too much uh, body weight was applied uh, while winning the ball, and Frank Wood has been penalised. Seven minutes of regulation time left in this half. Uh, 
uh, we are still waiting uh, for the goals uh, to come in uh, we've had a few very close moments Now they will regroup Kerala Police. And India champions twice. Early 90s. And some fun. And Gokul pressurizing him. And not giving him that inch to have a free run. And after those instructions from Stephen, Gokul is fearing much better uh, creating enough of a shield on the ball and not committing himself early and leader at the back for Parapur and Stephen and a very cool and calm centre back uh, robust in his challenges uh, that what you expect uh, from the African players. Uh, that was an obstruction foul. Uh, should be a booking for Vivian Thomas. Uh, referee uh, flashing out a yellow card. Uh, there was no cover behind. And that would have been a clear run for Markwood. And the Ghanaian striker selling that dummy. And almost getting the better of the number 24. Uh, that, but he had to be brought down. And had no other options left to win. Uh, quick one for the team. Look at that. Uh, tilting into the Ghanaian. And I personally would not have been surprised. If the colour of the card uh, would have been something different. And now they can throw on a counter, Kela Police. Uh, he's got Sachish uh, racing through the center. Uh, the miscontrol uh, from Anish is uh, spoiling the move. Uh, Sujil coming away with the ball is Kela Police. Uh, Sridag, the skipper. Uh, a heavy touch uh, from Sub 1. And almost latching onto it that was Abhiram. Here is Kerala Police uh, trying to create room for the shot and that's a wonderful save uh, from the goalkeeper uh, Muhammad Jassim. Uh, look at that creating the angle uh, fakes for a cross but in the end deciding no I'm gonna go for a shot and Bijesh Balan uh, took the goalkeeper by surprise uh, but Muhammad Jassim uh, at a full stretch uh, pushing it behind for a corner called into action the goalkeeper we are just asking to uh, take him to the touch line uh, for treatment uh, so that uh, we can go away with the game and Abhiram uh, slightly uh, winded and nonetheless that was a brilliant try by Bijesh Balan asking questions of Mohammed Jassim and on this occasion the goalkeeper comes out with flying colors and a chance and that was nodded back into the middle and couldn't get a touch and was Firoz and the danger is still lurking and the cross from Anis is blocked another corner for Kerala Police 
Uh, they are piling on the pressure in the closing stages of the first half. Back to back corner kicks for Kerala Police. Can they arrest the run of Parapur Football Club? That's a beautiful delivery towards the back post. A brilliant defending by Stephen. And now corner kick from the other side. A three in a row for Kerala Police. The skipper Sridag uh, will be taking it uh, from the left side. Anish is also uh, pretty close to the corner quadrant in case they decide to take it short. And uh, now he walks away. Uh, Sridag delivers, it's going to be a knockback. The keeper was off his mark. He could have nodded down. Uh, that was a right idea but not a very bright execution and goal kick for Parapur Football Club and the system so far uh, working brilliantly for Kerala Police uh, serving them uh, good uh, they are struggling in slightly on the back foot and the team in green Parapur another move uh, trying to accelerate uh, Sajish but holding his run realizing uh, that's a favorable uh, wait for the goalkeeper to grab and the pass was attacked too long and now Mark Wood uh, muscles away from the challenge he's got options to the right deciding to turn and go the other way uh, give and go uh, didn't uh, come off uh, that was Jishnu uh, tried to play that give and go uh, tried to play that wall pass uh, to break down the Kerala police defense he played for the uh, sub junior In state championship for Kerala Jishnu Another fine ball, finding a lot of joy down the left. The number 19 selling one dummy Firoz and setting up for a shot uh, to Anish on the edge of the area. He'll get another go at it, and this time stepping in is Suji. Uh, two green uh, shirts onto him. Uh, By the throw it. We are into the added minutes in the first half, and Sridag. Sirak's ball in and away by Stephen. It's been nodded right back into the area. And the defender has got a yards advantage. It's still not fully cleared. Stephen, some desperate defending from Parapur Football Club. Another searching ball for Markwood. Given away. And a chance here for Parapur FC. That's a fine through ball. And a call is for the goalkeeper, Mohammad Azar, who gets there on time. And that was a great slide rule ball. And Rubin Thomas and taking his time. And picking those pass out. The uh, referee uh, blows the whistle. It's half time here. Uh, game number 10 uh, between Parapur Football Club and Kerala Police. It's been an entertaining half of football. Uh, Kerala Police uh, clearly uh, had upper hand in this game. At least according to their first half performance, uh, creating the uh, most number of goal scoring uh, chances. On the flip side, Parapur uh, had their moments as well. Diljit uh, couldn't convert uh, from six yards area. But as things stands at half time, it's Parapur Football Club nil, Kerala Police nil. Make sure you don't go anywhere. 
we will come back shortly after this break with the second half stay tuned
Well, welcome back. You are watching Ramco Kerala Premier League live on the YouTube channel of Sportscast India. And it's nil nil between Parakpur Football Club and Kerala Police. It has been an eventful the first 45 minutes. They're creative and wasteful as well. They're wasteful simply because. And now we get ready uh, for the next 45. It's part of the team. A hurdle. The great venue of EMS the Stadium, which is a multi purpose stadium in Kohikor. Mostly used for football and sometimes cricket matches as well. The stadium is currently the home ground of the I League side of Gokulam Kerala. And off we go. Uh, this time the team in red, Kerala Police, they will be operating from the left to right of your screen. And the team in green, the newbies, Parapur Football Club, they will be operating from right to left. An early attack uh, from Kerala Police, this time down the middle, it takes the shot, the ball just bobbing in front of the goalkeeper, but not powerful enough. An early attempt from Anish, uh, straight into the grasp. Of Mohammed Jassim. Yeah, they are showing the desire, Kerala Police. Yeah, they are eyeing for full three points. They are looking to start off their campaign on a winning note. Yeah, they are aware of the fact that goal difference is going to play a part. Yeah, but to their immediate uh, assignment uh, now will be uh, to register the uh, full points first and then we'll go for goal difference. Uh, Vijesh Balan uh, touching it behind. Again going long. Easily dealt with. Oh, give it away in a very dangerous area to Sajish that man. Balan, he was offering a run on the right in the soft one. And now that inter interception, he was committing a foul on the number 41 Diljit. He played for Kerala in the sub junior championship. And most of the players in Parapur Football Club uh, they have. Uh, represented Kerala, uh, sub junior level. You know, the future stars, excellent platform for them you know, to show what they are made of. You know, we saw an abundance of talents you know, coming through the system of Kerala football. Now, embarking on a much bigger stage. And one of them, of course, is Joby Justin, who is playing for Chennai in the Hero ISL. And he was scouted uh, by East Bengal. You know, scout the former Indian international Alvito de Kunha uh, from the Kerala Premier League. And not just Joby Justin, the Mirshad as well, uh, the present Northeast United goalkeeper. And Ubed, uh, VP Suhair. Uh, these are the platforms which gives birth uh, to the future stars and that is the motive behind uh, having this uh, game streamed live on digital platforms and a chance for the players to get noticed Control of the ball, a Sujin. A comfortable clearance uh, from Gokul. Uh, not allowed uh, to turn Frankfurt. Uh, Stephen winning the header. An uh, outstretched boot uh, from Anish. Uh, nice turn, uh, just taken away before it could reach, reach to Jishnu. Uh, now the number seven. Uh, 
Balan. Once again, he is unbeatable in the air, Stephen. Now winning every aerial challenges. Rock solid for Parapur. Uh, down the right again. A sub one. Pull back his life. Uh, goes all the way through to the back post. Uh, now an attacker uh, chasing the ball from the far side. And that was the number 19, Firos. He was waiting uh, for a runner at the back post. But the run did came in from Firos. Uh, but it was too late by then. Oh, nice move. Uh, rolling it down the line. Uh, running out of space is the number 19. And goal kick for Parakpur Football Club. This beautiful stadium of EMS that was reconstructed and reopened in February 2005 by hosting the home match of State Bank of Travancore in the National Football League. The stadium has installed improved floodlights. It is renovated as an international stadium for football and cricket. The stadium may also be leased to Kerala Cricket Association, while Kerala Football League Association would love to utilize the stadium in their possession. The construction of the grandstand will certainly raise stadium to international standards. It will have state of the art facilities including a VIP long with sitting capacity of 200, a VIP long and dressing room for players and media center. And this UMS stadium uh, currently with a crowd capacity of 40,000. It was also recognized as the best football pitch as well uh, by the experts and the media. It was the home ground of Viva Kerala at one point of time in the Hero I League, the number 15. Uh, from the right hand side, a solid challenge from Stephen. Perfectly timed. Uh, but puts the ball out of steam. And just reminding the number 15, Bijesh Ball and Stephen, uh, that who is the player uh, he is up against this evening. A robust challenge. Not allowing Eri Lu uh, to cross uh, down the right hand side. Gokul. His youthful exuberance uh, has been guided by shoulders of experience. Oh, almost the cap opened up uh, from uh, the left right hand side of Parapur uh, That was a nice uh, back header. Uh, very vital as well, uh, just at the right time. And now running through the inside channel. Uh, the cross is headed away. He's been picked up and shoots. He's off target. Substitution. Uh, slightly animated Stephen. Uh, Kerala uh, bringing in another change. Uh, the number 26 is going off and Jamshid will come in. Uh, Jamshid TP. And then a second change. Substitution for by Ayam Vijayan. This is number 26, Arjun Kaladaran, replaced by this number 28, Jamshid TP. The second half. Uh, no goals yet. Playing a high tempo game in Kerala Police. <laughs> Vivian Thomas. Vivian Thomas continuously being chased by Anandu, the skipper of Parapur Football Club. Uh, that's his job uh, to press the centre back with possession. Quick feed there uh, by Abhiram. Uh, great switch. A lot of space to exploit. 
uh, brings down the ball. A player on the overlap as well, not been picked. He goes behind instead. And the cross from deep was close to the goalkeeper, uh, Mohamed Azar. And now above the halfway line, uh, carrying it forward is Anish. And uh, spreading it down the right, escapes the challenge, but got his foot. Uh, got something on the ball. Eventually uh, taking it out for a goal kick. Uh, that was Bijesh Balan again. And looking threatening and down the right but excellent sliding challenge and managing to get some of the ball and now chesting it down is Diljit in a tussle with Sujil but Sujil comes out on top and nodded towards Sajish as Sajish keeps going lays it back chance to shoot for Bijesh Balan I didn't get the curl and his left foot attempt has gone out. But excellent build up. A great a spell of controlled possession from Kerala Police. And that was a sliding attempt by the number 15, Bijesh Balan. And Sajish taking the ball into his stride and laying it off for his strike partner. And couldn't hit the target. And Kerala Police up through the gears, certainly. One more time, Bijesh. He's got Savvan on the overlap. And this time saw the pass, Gokul. Uh, reading the idea. Oh, some mistake and Bijesh uh, capitalizing onto it. Pulls it back. A shooting opportunity. Once again, tried to swivel and shoot. Didn't really connect. And scoops it into the box. He was looking for a Sajish. Uh, they are targeting. Uh, the vacuum areas in Parapur FC's defence. Uh, nicely done. Escapes three players and what an attempt! And equally a good save, just beaten away with his right hand uh, by Mohammed Jassim. He uh, stood tall there, the goalkeeper. What a brilliant attempt that was uh, from Sujil. Uh, goalkeeper. Jasim called into action. Corner comes in. Stephen went up for it. Doesn't deal with the ball. And the goalkeeper uh, grabs hold of it. And jersey number 13, Sujil NS, is down on the deck, uh, rolling in agony. As we approach the hour mark, uh, no goals yet. They're getting closer and closer, Kerala Police. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, uh, struggling uh, to break the door down. Mm -hmm. uh, the wait has been prolonged uh, by pretty defending of Parapur FC and uh, indicating for a change. Uh, there he is on your screen, number 41, Diljit P. In the back of his mind, uh, that chance in the first half, uh, which he created for himself, he will be thinking about it and have that goal uh, being scored by Parapur FC. It could well have been a completely different picture uh, by now. now on that count, uh, Kerala Police, uh, they have uh, formulated the maximum number of chances uh, so far in this game. Uh, but it's still locked at nil-nil. And just at the stroke of our mark, Anish into a free roll, a sitting deep, a long shy jump sheet. And now he's back in the pitch. Uh, good to see that Sunil on the great ball taken down brilliantly. Sub one, and sub one goes infield, and finds jump sheet. A nice one touch build up. Uh, but has been foiled. Nabiram with the crucial challenge, a biting challenge rather, on Vibin Thomas, and he's clutching his left ankle. 
you know, referee stops play. You know, we've had a lot of stoppages so far in the second half. You know, just a one booking you know, so far in the game and Vivian Thomas, you know, the Kerala police defender, was booked in the first half. And apart from that, it's been a pretty clean game. But sometimes for FC, you know, they're getting theatrical. A heavy touch. You know, latching on to is, is Nandu. You know, he's been constantly under pressure. The number seven. You know, the moment he is getting the feel of the ball, he's been easily brushed off. Rashid and Firoz uh, not getting uh, the feel of the ball on that occasion uh, nicely defended uh, by Joseph Justin and here comes but a poor FC that's a fine ball getting in behind one on one chance and scoops it over the goalkeeper it's just wide and what an opening for a poor football club and he's tapping the deck for missing that chance and getting in brilliantly was the number 41 Diljit and second time uh, his attempt has gone wide uh, could have been a hero uh, for, for, for Parapur FC this evening the number 41 uh, two absolutely guilty chances uh, being wasted uh, Kerala uh, police cannot believe their luck that angle ball from midfield almost piercing uh, their defense. And the right back, as uh, someone was caught napping, and he was out of his area as he is pushing up forward on the overlap. And there he is once again uh, joining in the party. That was a sliding tackle from Gokul. In Kerala Premier League in its ninth edition, and this time 22 teams uh, battling out. Oh, it's been headed back, and somehow it hasn't gone in. Still a chance, and what a brilliant strike into the top corner, and Kerala Police has finally arrested for a poor football club and this time is the jersey number 14 Anish uh, who has issued the arrest warrant what a fine strike uh, that was and absolutely bulging on the top of the net look at that and one nil for Kerala police and the 63rd minute uh, mark uh, the number 14 uh, that was a nice cross uh, goalkeeper caught flat footed uh, couldn't get a touch uh, showing great maturity uh, laying it back uh, towards the number 14 uh, who made no mistake in slotting the ball into the top corner <laughs> yeah, good response uh, from Parapur FC Mark no power behind that shot He will be ruining his thumbs for the for those two missed opportunities. And one more time now, Sajij. This time is its turn. And shot has gone wide. Uh, the angle was blocked as well uh, by Jagannath Jain. Forced him slightly uh, out of the area, uh, making it uh, difficult for the attacker uh, to keep it on target. lying down injured uh, looks like a hamstring injury uh, that is bound to happen uh, given the kind of humidity uh, the kind of uh, ground covered by Kerala police so far uh, they are playing a high tempo game and uh, the midfielders covering every blade of grass 
Sanju Ji. Substitution is going out. Substitution. For the time being, Kerala police down to 10 men. And this is what I was talking about in the first half as well. And fielding foreign players uh, doesn't uh, guarantee you uh, three points. You've got to uh, improve yourself in the field of play. And whichever team does it consistently. You will eventually stand out in those 90 minutes. Provin comes in uh, for Parapur. Uh, those two sitters missed uh, will haunt Dijit for sure. Uh, given the fact his side is now trailing by a goal. And had he taken his chances could have been a completely different story altogether. Kerala police are now sitting pretty on that one nil lead and looking for more. And this particular stadium is very famous for the football crazy fans of Kohikor and the famous Caesars Cup final. The Super Cup final and Santosh Trophy and Syed Nagji football tournament is held here. The stadium is the home ground for Gokulam Kerala team. Since 2017 in the Hero I League. And the first match here was played between Gokulam Kerala. And I think between Gokulam Kerala and Shillong Lachong. Gokulam Kerala winning both the games. Including the next one against East Bengal. It was a 2-1 victory. Misplaced pass. Now pouring forward is Parapur. He has escaped the challenge. Michal. Michal keeps going and clips it over the top. It's gone out of play. An interesting run was made as well. It was the far post by Abhiram. Michal may be caught up between two options whether to go of a goal or uh, cross it uh, towards the back post in the end deciding uh, the wrong, choosing the wrong option another excellent header uh, won by Stephen uh, sends it right back into the opposition a half uh, they are leaving dangerously a uh, powerful football club Seems like a few issues in the defensive organization. And Gokul uh, so far uh, have been the weak link. Most of the build ups from Kerala Police have been down the right. Uh, they have quickly realized maybe Gokul is still young and do not have uh, much experience uh, playing at this level. So if uh, they can attack uh, down the right, something could be produced, uh, rightfully so. And as you can see, Feroz now uh, switching wings. Uh, going to the right, uh, Bijesh Balan will be operating from the left now. With a tactical tweak uh, coming in from Iron Vijayan. It has been a very tactical player uh, during his days another corner whipped in is an open chance the confusion in the box is still open and the rebound goes in and tune in for Kerala police uh, they have doubled the lead into a space of eight minutes and a couple of goals coming in uh, brave defending on the line uh, from Parapur FC but not uh, sufficient enough uh, to stop Kerala police from scoring and uh, Anis uh, doubling the lead uh, for the Reds. Uh, the previous goal was scored by Jamshid, number 28. Uh, this time it's been scored by the number 14 Anish. 
He committed himself early. Sub one has a silky skills uh, from the number 13. He's been a nuisance uh, so far. And struggling to find those adventurous passes. And seeping the gaps close this time over the top. And the goalkeeper comes out bravely. Yes, anticipating the danger. Mohammed Azhar. In the space of eight minutes. In the space of five minutes. On the count. And scoring with two goals. At Kerala Police. There's gonna be more coming in. Maybe from this move, Bijesh Balan. Bijesh Balan comes back on his right side, opens up for Bijesh, and he fires it into the bottom corner. And three 0 for Kerala Police. And certainly they're having a field day in the second half. Is that man the tactical tweak finally uh, doing the job for the team in red? Uh, cuts in uh, to his left onto his favorite right foot. Creating that angle and then unleashes a pile driver. And three nil for Kerala Police. Kerala Police in the world again. They are now in six and seven in the defense line of Parapulesi. What a start. And the ball has gone out of play. Too much on that pass. And that was Praveen K. Dasan and tried to work the ball uh, to the right. And still not satisfied, Kerala Police. They are hungry for more. And now Firoz has got a man inside him, picks him out. Great back hill this time, Firoz. Makes it 4 0. The goals just keep coming for Kerala Police. And they have opened the floodgate. And this time, uh, the, sub the super sub, number 19, Firoz, uh, puts his name on the score sheet as well. Uh, both the changes made by I.M. Bijayan uh, coming off the bench. And contributing uh, for the side. On tender hooks. They are wearing green, uh, but the rub of the green is not going their way. It's been total dominance by Kerala Police in the second half uh, so far and apart from that one moment where uh, Diljit uh, could have uh, handed his side uh, a much important lead I saw the chance being wasted and getting punished uh, from the very next move Bijesh Balan this time it was a wayward pass this Force Academy of Terror winning their opening game 7 0 against Real Malaba. Now, can Kerala Police do the same? Realities International, of course, at the top of the points table, uh, but they played a game extra uh, than Kerala Police. In a sports Academy Tirol both. Uh, the ball is gonna uh, spin away uh, for a throw in. Uh, throw in quickly taken. Abhiram. Abhiram trying to turn his man. And Abhiram uh, hot on the heels of Sridag. And the ball sent in uh, towards the number 13. It has been cleared away. Uh, very alert in defense. Uh, Kerala Police uh, side currently surging with confidence. Uh, 
the youngster uh, hurt himself Harris Harris is substitution for us see this time it's 22 teams affair the Remco Kerala Premier League it's ninth edition uh, 22 teams uh, battling for that one spot now Gokul and Kerala are the defending champions uh, they will be starting their campaign on 28th of this month they are placed in group A seems like it's gonna be a very tight affair this time around it won't be that easy for the Malaborians there's a few good teams in group B as well in the likes of Mutut Efe Don Bosco last season's runners up at Kerala State Electricity Bowl. It's going to be an evenly matched contest uh, this time around. And now they got to keep the focus. And they got to keep their concentration uh, at the back. Uh, they will look to keep a clean sheet, uh, which will look to add on to the positive start they haven't lifted the title as of yet this season could be their season see later on uh, whether uh, the reason the change in philosophy from Kerala police uh, whether they attempted to sign any experienced foreigners uh, to save their campaign uh, Kerala police uh, have been a regular fixture in the Kerala Premier League uh, so comfortable in keeping the ball look at that uh, seven touches already this is the eighth one Shijin you know, Just keeping possession and moving the ball around For a good football club just playing into the hands of Kerala police at this moment of time Vivian Thomas Getting on the ball his jump sheet and the scorer of the first goal and it was his strike which paved the way for the next three Kefko Kefko Kerala Police uh, their confidence back and they had been threatening in the first half as well is the only thing is that they couldn't apply the finishing touches to their flourishing moves. Now Stephen going up. And the number 15 is offside. Mark Wood, uh, Frank Wood. Uh, Jesse number six. A uh, heavy uh, will be replacing uh, the skipper Anandu. One more change. And this time is number 24. Uh, who will make way uh, with that the uh, referee has blown the whistle for the second Griggs break uh, of this evening and at water break Parapur football club nil uh, Kerala police 4 uh, with goals from Jamshid, Anish, Bijesh and Firoz and we will try and uh, show you those goals it's not easy uh, playing at this weather conditions. Kerala okay, police making their third change as well. Uh, Jim Shad is the new man. 
brought in. And it's going to be another game waiting. And after this, an action is going to shift uh, from Kohi Kohi to Thrissur. Kandathanad Raja uh, will be uh, battling against Travancore Royals in the Kerala Women's League. Uh, that game is also going to be live on the YouTube channel of Sportscast India. Another promising run uh, made by Firoz. It's a delay too much in releasing the ball. And that challenge was deemed as a foul. And Ten minutes of regulation time left. And can they pull one back? Put a put football club in to try and make the score line respectable. And will Kerala Police extend their lead? Substitution number 14 Anish Pingas Lay, case number 18 Jim Shah. The mission of this uh, newly built club is to bring uh, to light burning soccer talents among children. One more chance, and this time, Firoz with the header uh, straight to the goalkeeper. Uh, Mohammed Jassin he had his sides well protected. And the Parapur Football Club. And they bring light to the budding soccer talents among the children from age group of 8 to 18 with special emphasis on those rural India from backgrounds traditionally deprived of wealth, attention, recognition and opportunities and they dream of educating, training and raising these children to international levels uh, by imparting world-class coaching from grassroots level. Uh, lots of emphasis on the grassroots uh, football. We witnessed the youth leagues going on in the state of Kerala which is at present is the hotbed of Indian football another fine ball some confusion and this time it's a known goal and 5-0 for Kerala uh, police is <laughs> the number 24 oh look at that he tried to head it over the crossbar uh, but ends up nestling into his own net <laughs> Adding insult to injury. Self goal. Joy scoring the tone goal. A nightmare of a start uh, for the youngster uh, who was introduced in the second half. Uh, but free kick for Parapur. Uh, not the kind of start uh, they would have wanted. Uh, but there are a few positives to take uh, from their performance. Goalkeeper. Uh, a punch in the ball clear, Mohammad Azhar. Uh, could be one more. 
Uh, here comes Kerala police. Uh, Firoz is free in the middle, uh, taking his time and try to roll it uh, towards the number 18. Uh, the ball eventually falling short of him and being picked up uh, by the number 13 of Parapur. Now it's Abhiram. Michel looking for options and finds one in the lights of number 20. And now coming on the overlap is Joseph Justin. He plays it in field. Mark turns towards goal. It's a good ball. And chance here for Parapur. Beaten away by the goalkeeper once again. Uh, that's a gl glimmer of hope. A silver lining for Parapur Football Club. Uh, they can be instrumental as well going forward. Uh, this time the number 13. Uh, denied by Mohammad Hazar. Hey. Injury the goalkeeper and he's getting treated. His uh, right toe. And that is what he's trying to. Uh, tell the referee. Uh, you can see Stephen uh, very, very agitated. Uh, the uh, defensive organization uh, not been up to the mark in the second half. Uh, given the fact they've uh, left plenty of gaps uh, for the opposition uh, to explore on it's not that Kerala police kept a very tight defense uh, they have also made mistakes uh, but uh, Parapur Football Club uh, failed to uh, make those counts he's been headed back to Mohammad Jassim. Uh, kept in play Joseph Justin. Uh, not really. And there's going to be three points for Kerala Police. Uh, they're starting off a brand new season in an impressive fashion. Another shot from distance. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper, Mohammad Jassim who somehow managed to deal with it. He was scrambling on his line. And that was a powerful attempt by number 28, Jamshid. And look at that. And forcing a save of the goalkeeper. And here comes the corner now. An outswing floater headed back. He touched it. And has been given as a foul. And nearly half a dozen. But uh, FC survives. Uh, they are certainly up through the gears. The Kerala police. Uh, the ball just wobbling under his feet. And a move is developing uh, from the right inside. Lofted ball. His mark foot keeper comes out. Could be a 5 1. And it has eventually crossed the line. It has it. Yes, the goal has been finally given. For a pool football club pulling one back. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Uh, Kerala police have also left gaps in their defense. And finally, for uh, a pool football club uh, rewarded uh, for their efforts. And it is the Ghanaian striker Frank Wood uh, scoring the goal and uh, lobbing it over goalkeeper Mohammad Hazar who had no other options uh, than to uh, come a long way. Uh, there was no uh, cover behind. It's been a six goals thriller. Uh, this game, uh, the last yesterday's game between Altis International and Real Malabar was a very timid affair. And 
now continuing his run his jump sheet in comes the cross and up it goes uh, via a powerful header from Stephen he positioned himself immaculately uh, the only man uh, who looked uh, decent at the back line of uh, Parapur football club Additional time we are going to Additional time we are going to die. It's going to be 4 minutes started off. 4 minutes. They are looking for their second Padapur football club. But they got to make the most of this free kick. A header comes in. Not on target. And this time, uh, Jagannath Jain uh, winning the header inside the opposition's box. Uh, couldn't control his header. Uh, goalkeeper was slightly advanced as well. And now winning it. Uh, that's a very important area to will the ball. Um, Frank would uh, try to turn and uh, gets a block. Goal kick. And they're pressing high in the closing quarters. The team in green. It's been a disappointing evening in terms of a defensive organization. Uh, but going forward, pretty decent uh, for a good football club. Another cross sent in early. Uh, plucks it out of the air. Uh, Mohamed Azhar. And a quick release uh, towards the number 15, Vijesh Balan. Juris Misa, uh, the goal scorer. A swift exchange of uh, possession. Now a break could be on uh, for Kerala Police uh, into the channel uh, for Arnis. Arnis uh, nicely done. A low ball comes in and cleared away by Jayan. Uh, getting on to the second ball. Now uh, action on the opposite end. Attempted through pass. Uh, intercepted. Uh, by someone excellent tracking back uh, Bijesh Balan someone Vivin Thomas uh, just a minute and a half left on the clock uh, Firoz uh, play called back uh, for a foul be a comprehensive victory for Kerala Police. Uh, they also uh, had a few difficult uh, situations to deal with uh, but uh, the experience which made all the difference in the end and uh, eventually coming out stronger the team in red. Uh, Stephen uh, covering the run uh, of uh, Sajish. Michel uh, drawing a foul uh, to the feet of uh, Frankwood, uh, quickly taken away uh, by an outstretched boot of Jamshid. The only last few minutes. And it's going to be the last bit of action of this game uh, from this throw in. Referee just checking his watch. And it's going to be full time whistle any moment. And that's the end of the game. And Kerala Police with a comprehensive victory in this season opener against the new side Parapur Football Club. And that's the scoreline from EMS Corporation Stadium.